to do after a losing trade. Hi, it's Charlie giving you Wednesday's video. Hope you're very well. Let's um, go through winning and losing trades because um, I'll give you an example. I had two losing trades yesterday, intraday trades, and which are insignificant. However, traders get really caught up in winners and losers. And yet, most traders know once they've done got a strategy and the strategy might let's for argument's sake has a 50% win rate um, and they know that the strategy is profitable because they do all their back testing on it and they know that with a, even with a 50% win rate at whatever risk reward return that they're making money and yet and then traders go off and start trading and then have a couple of losing trades and um, and very quickly can then have a little bit of a wobble and a little bit of a worry about wins and losses so my point here is remember if you've got a strategy with a 50% win rate that means it also has a 50% um, loss rate as well <laughs> and then between all of that in the short term the figures are random because if you took 10 trades as I always say if you took 10 trades um, the the nature of wins and losses is such that it is possible to have 10, 10 losing trades in a row with a 50% win rate. So expect it, and but keep in mind that you're trading the bigger picture. As I always say to people, don't think about the outcome of this next trade. Think about the outcome of your next 100 trades or 1,000 trades. That's where you really measure your profitability or your success and yet people get so caught up in oh the outcome of the very next trade oh they really want it to be a winner now it's always nice when your trade is a winner of course um, but you have to keep reminding yourself that whatever your win rate even if your win rate is 70% that still means that 30% of the time you're going to be having losses and so prepare yourself mentally think about okay that that 30% of losses, when those 30% are going to come in, because even with a 70% win rate, you're still going to have clusters of losses. Um, trades are like buses. You get none, then you get a load coming through. And it's the same with winners and losers. You'll get you know, a period where you get no losers and then a load of them will come through all at once, so to speak. So do keep in mind your uh, win rate and loss rate. Like I said, I had two losers yesterday. I really don't care about having two losing trades. Um, you just have to keep reminding yourself of the big picture. It's not about what happens next, what happens in the next couple of trades. That's irrelevant in the main. What's really important is that, that bigger picture because then you're starting to even out your uh, your figures because if you've got a strategy with, let's say, a 50% win rate, over 10 trades, it's still pretty random how that's going to come out. Like I said, you could have eight wins and two losers or eight losers and two wins, for example. It's too small a sample size. But once you start getting towards 100 trades, then you then what you should see is you getting closer towards what is that overall success rate. So then, you know, it, within that, you might have had a, a period of eight wins in a row and, and only two losers, but then you might have then had other spells within that where you've had um, six losers in a row and then one win... And, and then you know four losers and but overall then you go and have you know six wins and then you get to that sort of 50 50 and that's how your profitability works so don't worry about the outcome right now or in the next few trades what your what your focus should be on is your over, overall profitability of your system and therefore all you have to do is Keep in mind that overall profitability of your strategy or whatever it is, and then um, that will keep you in a better place. Our problem as human beings is we are taught 
in our normal lives through the education system and through the working system that we need to be right as much as possible and then we come into this thing called trading and we don't need to be right as much as possible do keep that in mind um, and therefore you just have to accept that you're going to have losers even with a profitable strat a system you take some of the world's best investors they're actually right some of the big hedge fund managers are actually only right you know between 30 and 40 percent of the time and yet these are some of the biggest money managers there is they don't cut their losses short they do cut their losses they have um strategies stop losses in place for cutting those trades but they're not jumping out of trades early or anything like that they're just making sure that they have their stop losses and when they get into a trend they run those trends um, but again that's a certain kind of strategy in itself your issue is to say right okay what's my strategy what's my win rate what's my overall profitability with that win rate so what's my um, risk to reward all those factors um, and then just keep reminding yourself that when you do have that next loser or a few losers in a row, that that's irrelevant in the grand scheme of things. And you can only really measure your performance once you get a big enough cluster of trades. So if you have, um, I don't know, let me say, uh, let's see, um, at least 50 trades, then you can then start to say, right, there's something I've got a bit of information here, but preferably you get into 100 trades and then you can say, ah, yes, my my strategy is actually uh, doing absolutely fine. And I, I was just worrying about nothing when I had four losers in a row or whatever it might be. So there you go. That's this week's um, Food for Thought. Um, I'll see you on Friday for live trading.